I run all of my tracks naked. Brand new tool from TSO, available starting today. This very tool is the first one, in fact, as I'm speaking, the only one outside of TSO proper. I'm not talking, this is my smart wood shop. If you would like to build a smart wood shop yourself, smart station, a smart bench, or the smart wood shop itself, or any of the accessories that work for the system, like the router table, or the cart that makes it all mobile, that's the biggest deal for me. Working in a small shop and being able to move the stuff around where I need it is fantastic. There is a link in the description of this video down below where you can go and purchase plans for any or all of the system, 24-7, 365. What? A GRS 16 PE? Wait a minute. I've already got one of these. This is version two. It replaces the original version. So this one will no longer be available. If you order a guide rail square 16 PE, it will be the version two. The very first tool that attracted me to TSO that brought them on my radar was the guide rail square. It was actually their other version. It wasn't the PE, but other than that, it worked exactly the same. This was the only and remains the only square on the market that has this design for attaching it that is so user-friendly and so accurate. No, nobody else offers this. This is their proprietary product. What I enjoyed about it was no tools, slide it on, lock it on, that's it. It is square. There's no adjustment to it. It doesn't go out of adjustment. And the durability of the tool. I've got hundreds of videos where you see me using this, either talking about it or just using it all the time in the background. Because if I'm doing woodworking, this tool is out because this tool is out. And this leverages my track more than any other tool available on the market. I don't protect this thing. It drops in a drawer. It gets dropped around on the floor. And the coating on it isn't even scratched. There's no corrosion. There's no evidence of wear. It's a little, a little dusty, but literally, even sliding it off and on the track, there, this coating has not worn at all. In fact, that looked like a scratch, but that was some kind of something on the surface. Built exactly the same with the same clamp. Instead of sliding it on the end, they've changed from this T-slide that goes in the track to an L. It's an inverted L, and it's also twice as long. So now, instead of sliding it from the end, which I could still do, now I can drop it on the track anywhere and lock it in. I run all of my tracks naked. And even then, I still have found this to be incredibly efficient day in and day out to be able to take it off and on that easy especially when I'm working my longer track to find the spot, come out and slide it in or come from the other side when I'm pulling back that way. I really find it useful then because I'm able to just drop it on the track on the far end, lock it on, and then I can pull it back. But if you run the end guard on your track, you know, the one for uh, the hose and the power cord guide, it sort of protects them from pulling up against this edge. Well, if you've got that, this is even more convenient to be able to jump past all of that. Another application I've found to be really convenient, it's when I'm running my parallel guide, particularly the long one, the 50 incher. Now I'm set up for my square to have the stop on it so that I can do those repetitive cuts. And now this is a little, you know, a little more, un, you know, unwieldy. It's not bad, but with having to slide it on the end, particularly when I'm using with my uh, longer track, holding it out here and getting it on there and then clamping, not bad, but I find this just to be a lot simpler and easier. And I'm ready to go. The slot where the clamp goes on the original version is wider. I think it's about 16 millimeters. And the version two, it's much narrower. It's about 10 millimeters. Now what that's used for is when you're using the squares on a track, the, this retention block or this retention T slides into that track. That's the same track that the clamps go in for clamping the track down to your work. So this rides or goes nests up in to that notch. 
And I guess the idea is that there's less room for it to tip side to side. It doesn't look like much, but it sure does make a big difference in functionality and the practical day in and day out use. So I really have to applaud TSO for keeping their head in the game, for continuing to iterate and improve, even when they've got a tool that's already doing the job quite well. I have some last minute good news if you're interested in getting a version two for yourself. These were scheduled to be released in this video in about two weeks from now, and there was gonna be no introductory sales price. It's just gonna be released for the same price as version one. They ran low on inventory of version one, so they brought the release of version two forward, which happens to coincide with their Father's Day sale going on right now. So during the Father's Day sale, you get 10% off of this as well as any of TSO's tools in their store. If you like videos like this, if you like getting an early look at new tools, then be sure to give me a thumbs up here and in the comment section down below. Take a couple of minutes and tell me what you think about, what's your opinion about TSO making these subtle design changes, using their energy, their resources, their engineers to do these just seemingly minor adjustments in refinement, but make a big difference in application. Should they be doing that or just stick with the, the old proven tool that works? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Mahalo for hanging out with me in the smart wood shop.